Greetings from HackerBox's headquarters. Today we have HackerBox number 0030. And we're going to see what we've got inside. What's in store for this box? It's a personal uh, pizza size box today. A little uh, less rectangular than usual. Start off with some bubble wrap. Get out of the way. All right, now the first item we have here is a bag of small, these look like three, three millimeter LEDs. And there's um, 512 LEDs in here with a few extras actually. Next we have the little uh, microcontroller. This is a ESP8266. This is the uh, Node MCU style micro uh, microprocessor board. Um, this one has a, a extra memory of 32 megabytes of flash, and it has the um, CH340G uh, um, USB serial interface and a, a micro USB serial port. And speaking of which, this module here is uh, simply a uh, CH340G um, USB to serial interface chip all by itself with some uh, header connectors and obviously a USB port. There's a box of integrated circuits. We'll get back to those in a minute. A USB power cable that actually goes with that. Some uh, 22 gauge hookup wire. This is about three meters of hookup wire. It's stranded. Um, this is useful for all sorts of uh, things. There's a uh, there's an example project um, in the in the box guide for this box that makes some use of this. So we'll discuss that again in a second. And some female to female Dupont jumpers. Pretty standard fare. They're useful for headers like that. We have um, one silver bag. Silver bags are um, especially useful. Oh, there's something inside of it. There is a spool, slightly smaller than one silver bag that has um, 60 RGB LEDs on it and a flexible strip that's adhesive. Um, we've used these uh, type of RGB LEDs before. These are the WS2812. Um, they have a built-in serial interface and there's a, several different libraries that can write out to these things just using one data pin. This is pretty amazing. Oh, and what do we have here? A printed circuit board. All right, so let's put this right here. Bring this in. This is actually a eight and eight by eight by eight LED um, kit right here. Uh, we've been um, planning this one out for a while. It the microprocessor board, uh, or the microprocessor on the on the uh, circuit board, is an 8051 based uh, MCU. Um, it's in here, and it comes comes pre-programmed. It's the large 40-pin IC in here, and it has a socket as well. Go go there with its socket. And it was a this um, micro microprocessor is based on the uh, the AD fifty one, which is a pretty early days um, microprocessor, and then it also has eight eight bit latches, and there's an eight um, an eight bit Darlington array uh, Darlington transistor to drive the uh, outputs, um, and all of the ICs have sockets, and there's some headers in here and some hookup wire 
to hook that up. And um, that'll be a pretty pretty fun project. We'll give you, get you some more information on that. Um, let's see what else is in the box here. We have a couple of cool decals. Have a cool hacker boxes decal and a um, decal for the dark side of the LED. And of course, we have our exclusive um, official reference card. So uh, this is for hacker box number 0030. The, um, the theme is light forms, um, we'll explain in a second. Um, here's a close-up of the microcontroller board so you can see the, the pin labels and on the back there's an interesting graphic about the uh, um, semiconductor physics that uh, allow LEDs to operate since we have some serious uh, LED action in this in this box. There's 512 LEDs for the uh, 8x8x8 cube and there's also um, 60 RGB LEDs, which I guess is technically 180 different uh, LEDs on the um, on that reel. So, talking about uh, that probably works out to close to 700 LEDs in hacker box number 0030. Light forms, an appropriate name. The uh, the the as the name implies, we're going to be building some structures um, that have some nice lighting effects. So, uh, Folks who have been around for a while remember will remember this this um, project from the uh, the um, get the lead out get the LED out box. Uh, it's a four by four by four set of LEDs, LED cube, and uh, so the eight by eight by eight is going to be a little a little bit more complicated than this. It's technically four times as complicated. Um, all right, no, eight times as complicated. So there will be a lot of soldering to get that uh, eight by eight by eight um, matrix built up, but the effect in the end is very satisfying. We um, we had this uh, four by four by four module um, or version of the the um, LED array at DEF CON 25 in Las Vegas, summer 2017, and Easily thousands of people asked about it, uh, and um, at the time we were we were planning out the the kit that's in a uh, 0030, and so we were uh, letting f folks know that there'd be um, more to come. Because at the time we didn't have any of these left; we simply had one out on display as a uh, this is a little bit of an attractive uh, attractor mode toy, and there was just a lot of interest in it because it's it's a lot of fun to look at. It's the uh, it's a hacker version of a lava lamp. And like we said, this one has a slightly larger uh, printed circuit board. It has eight pins going across, and eight going up and down, and then of course it's built up eight levels. All right there. So one of the structures here for uh, for light forms or or illuminated structures we'll be building will be a eight by eight by eight. Um, LED array, and um, and then there's actually a, several options for different structures that can be built around this flexible flexible LED um, setup here. Um, I think there have been some suggestions for 
building these around into a cylinder. You can use them to cover the outside of a cube. Um, and there's a really nice fireplace example. And of course, these can be driven with a microcontroller. Um, and since this microcontroller is an 8266, it can even be um, uh, controlled wirelessly over Wi-Fi. So there are some really exciting options for that. And um, if you end up cutting these um, this, this strip apart, I mean, it can be used as all one strip, or you can cut it and extend it into different shapes. And then, you know, we have a little bit of a hookup wire for for um, reconnecting the disjoint. So we'll, ha we'll have an example of that in the box guide. All right, so that's it for this box. We have a lot of LEDs to work with, uh, some different um, three-dimensional structures we can build and experience some really interesting type of uh, creativity here with uh, hacker box number 0030 light forms. So it's pretty easy to hook up the um, LED strip to any sort of microcontroller. Here with the Node MCU, we've um, just used uh, the one data line, uh, we've used D1. Uh, D0 will not work with the, um, the LED library, so I um, suggest just sticking with uh, the D1 pin unless you have a, a reason not to. And we get the five volts from VN, which is the pin on the um, Node MCU, which has the the raw five volt input voltage from the USB port. And then, so we also hook up ground, and that's all the three lines that you need to drive that LED strip. Check out the uh, code example to see how that goes. And like we said, you can um, actually cut the strip up uh, to put it in any sort of arrangements you like. Um, if you do cut it, just be sure to connect the uh, data out from one of them into the data into the other to maintain the um, the stream. The uh, grounds and five volts can be connected however makes the wiring easy. They don't have to be um, maintained in a chain. So that zigzaggy strip you saw there um, is just inside of a picture frame covered with some uh, parchment to make a nice fireplace. So needless to say, uh, 512 LEDs is a lot of LEDs to solder. So one thing we, we recommend is to make a, a jig to solder them together in. Um, that can be done by just punching some holes in cardboard or you can drill some holes into a board. Here's an example um, just with some holes in cardboard. And the holes need to be a little bit over 3 millimeters, maybe about 3.2 millimeters. And they are on a 15 millimeter grid, 15 millimeters across and 15 millimeters up and down. And that's all it takes. Yeah, so here, here we have just a few of a uh, few examples of the type of really cool um, lighting effect, animated lighting effect that you can get with uh, with all these LEDs, 512 LEDs. It's uh, it's pretty impressive. So yeah, thanks for checking out um, Hackerbox uh, number zero zero three zero light forms for uh, thanks for watching our unboxing video and seeing what we've got going on here. Um, Please uh, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and uh, come on by the website hackerboxes.com and consider subscribing to get a Hackerbox uh, every month in the mail. Um, we've got a lot of uh, great things planned for the coming month. Take it easy.